So the Biden administration facing plenty of pushback on two major policy positions tonight, continuing to support mask mandates on federal travel and its intention to terminate Title 42 next month. Let's bring in tonight's Dream Team panel to debate Fox News contributors Leslie Marshall and Dr. Jeanette Neshwat and Project 21 co-chair Horace Cooper. Welcome back. Good to see all of you. Hey, Shannon. Hi, Shannon. OK, so let's start here. The DOJ says it may appeal this federal judge out of Florida. Her ruling if the CDC deems it is necessary to protect the public's health. So, doctor, what kind of assessment would the CDC be doing at this point? We were told early on that filtration systems um, in airplanes are the best. we got to keep the industry going. And now we're told it's the one one of the few places that we mandatorily have to wear a mask, you know, despite what the judge said last night. Yeah, I, I hope that the CDC, our White House, and the Department of Justice come to the understanding and the realization that we have achieved our goal. We have accomplished our mission. And if we recall from day one, that goal is to ensure that our hospitals are not overwhelmed, that our hospital system does not collapse, that we don't have a shortage of doctors and nurses and staffing in beds. Right now, I had about 60 patients today. I had only two patients that tested positive. I had the tools to treat them. We can look at the data we can look at the facts that tells us hospitalizations are down ICU admissions are down the mortality and death rate is down by more than 25 percent I have we have the tools to treat COVID we have the antivirals we have the medications we know how to manage it we have it in control we've accomplished our mission so there is no need to continue with these draconian measures and reinstituting mandates that we don't need right now it should be optional at this point three years into the into the pandemic, Shannon. Okay, so the Progressive Change Campaign Committee has a statement. They want to push things like U.S. Airlines to have mask-only flights for people who want to wear a mask and everybody on board would have masks. They say we encourage the White House to use their bully pulpit and influence to get airlines to voluntarily take these measures. Every major airline immediately made masks optional. Ridiculously, some flight attendants danced and went around collecting masks to throw out. One political leader said this new optional policy is like having a no-peeing section in the public pool. Uh, Horace's progressive group is not feeling it and they want the White House to use the bully pit to force airlines to get in line. All of this came about because Congress and a lot of state legislatures failed to take the actions that our founders set up and gave them the authority to do. And that is for them to meet, vote, and decide what policies we're going to have. They punted and they pushed this off to another agency. Progressives are unhappy about it, but I celebrate that a judge stood up and said, if it's so vital, if the science is so clear, why don't you then call a session, have a vote, let's get an up or down. Here's what we know. All of the draconian rules, not just the mask, shutting down churches, shutting down restaurants, if legislatures actually we're told you're going to come in and you're going to vote all of those policies would fail that's a sign of their saliency well jonathan turley professor of law who is not a conservative says this uh, will the Biden administration appeal he's, he's talking about whether they're going to make that decision he says the administration is going to have a hard time making this cat walk backwards the cheering of passengers and pilots seemed as much a communication to the administration as it was a celebration those cheering videos could have a greater impact on the white house than any cdc or doj recommendation um leslie i mean what do you think if they go back and take this listen i travel today i saw the joy and the excitement a lot of people celebrating this whole thing uh, do the democrats and the white house risk alienating folks if they say nope we're going to keep fighting this get those masks back on they risk alienating folks either way and let's remember that the original extension specifically for airline travel from the federal government was set to expire in two weeks so we're really two weeks from a but they a do keep renewing it this court Correct, but but they may not have been in two weeks. We don't know. And like I said, they're gonna they're gonna win with some people either way. They're gonna lose with some people either way. But I want to say something on the heels of the other uh, two panelists tonight. Um, I'm not a physician, uh, but the Surgeon General is, and the former Surgeon General, who was appointed by Donald Trump, is actually outraged at this judge's ruling, and he thinks that it's going to put people in danger. 
And we know that there's a new variant now. We don't know what will happen. Yes, we're more equipped uh, to fight COVID, but I've I've seen this before. This is I can hear deja vu. I think it's Dionne Warwick, right? Sh Shannon, we like all our music, right? <laughs> I, I can hear her singing that be because you know we've done this before, where it's like hospitalizations are down, less people are dying. We're good. Rip the masks off. Let's do this. And then what happens? Then we see numbers ticking up sometimes. Then we see ICU start getting filled up. So my thing is, I don't want to hear from the politicians on this. I want to hear from the or the judges. I want to hear from the medical that professionals is, on this and see okay. what and see what the majority well, of the medical luckily, professionals say. Luckily, is the best that is luckily. exactly wrong. Okay, let me say this though. We are lucky that we do have a doctor who has treated many, many hundreds, if not thousands, of COVID patients. So I will give her the final word. Yeah, so what I want to tell you is remind you and remind you that the goal is not to eradicate COVID. That's nearly impossible. I think that vaccination and good ventilation is more effective than a flimsy surgical mask or a gaiter. You need to take personal responsibility and understand your risks. Make sure you're vaccinated. And if you want to uh, wear a mask and take that extra step of precaution, then do so. But for everyone else, many of us already have natural immunity, vaccine immunity, combined immunity. So so we cannot wear masks in perpetuity. Know your risk to protect yourself. And we need to move on. And this is a, a good step towards normalcy, a good step towards regaining our freedoms and also conquering COVID. And, and we need to accept that. Well, I will say the pilot on my flight today said, listen, it is optional. Make your choice. As you said, get your own risk assessment. Talk to your doctor and please respect the other passengers who may have decided differently than you did. And everybody seemed to get along just fine. So let's hope for more of that. Panel, thank you. Yes. We always appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you, Shannon.